subscribe to gizmo times and get notified about our latest videos by hitting the bell icon hey guys this is chetan for gizmo times and you're watching a quick comparison of the two realme smartphones the realme 3 pro and the realme 3 the realme 3 pro is now official in india so we'll be doing a quick uh, spec comparison not more than that we haven't really used the realme 3 pro for more than three to four days so i can't give a lot of judgment there but uh, we will be doing a quick spec comparison to let you know what uh, do these two phones differ in and there are quite a lot of differences so it would be an interesting comparison to see so let's start with the design of the phones uh, firstly you can see that these both have the same kind of uh, finish uh, though the realme 3 has some different colors and uh, both have again the different color options this comes with the carbon gray nitro blue and the lightning purple while the realme 3 came with the black and the dynamic black and radiant blue so this is the dynamic black or the radiant blue kind of uh, finish where you see uh, the blue bluish uh, tinge towards the bottom but uh, the other side you see uh, the carbon gray finish on the realme 3 pro which uh, has those lines uh, towards the back and it uh, kind of gives it uh, quite a good look but in the end both of them have the plastic back and they are prone to scratching and with the camera setup, they look the same, though the camera combination is different here. Uh, still, the way they look is the same and there's a fingerprint sensor on the back of uh, both of the phones. Uh, these phones are both prone to smudges and fingerprints, which is common on most of the phones that have a glossy back with the uh, plastic finish. Now, on the side, uh, you have the same uh, power button on the, side of, uh, on the right side of the phone. So, towards the bottom, again, the combination is almost the same where uh, you see uh, the four things. That's the speaker grill, the micro USB port, the microphone as well as uh, the uh, earphone jack but uh, the placement of them is quite different again now on the left what you see are the volume rocker buttons and uh, the sim card tray and the sim card tray slots are exactly the same they offer two nano sim card slots and one uh, micro sd card slot which is a dedicated micro sd card slot with the realme 3 pro you get a secondary microphone that is for the noise cancellation but that's not present on the realme 3 so there is uh, one that feature where the realme 3 misses out on there's no a noise cancellation when you are making calls and there is uh, noise in the background on the front now if you go on to check out the displays of these two phones you can see uh, that the realme 3 pro this one is the realme 3 pro and the realme 3 pro comes with a full hd plus display that is uh, the 2340 into 1080 pixels of screen resolution that gives it a 408 ppi that's 408 pixel per inch of pixel density and also it's uh, coming with a Gorilla Class 5 protection which is better than the Realme 3's uh, HD plus display firstly that is 720 to 1520 pixels of first screen resolution which gives it about 270 pixel uh, uh, per inch that's the pixel density which is quite lesser than the Realme 3 Pro but it also comes with the Gorilla Glass 3 protection and not the Gorilla Glass 5 which was on the Realme 3 Pro so there are some differences here the screen size is almost the same the aspect ratio is the same the only difference is with the resolution first and then the production given. Now moving on to the next one that is the processors given in these two devices. The Realme 3 Pro here comes with the Qualcomm Snapdragon 710 chipset uh, which is quite an advanced one which uh, supports quite uh, a lot of uh, more graphic processing while the Realme 3 on the other side comes with the Helio P70 which is not a bad chipset at all. Uh, the Realme 3 has performed quite well uh, in uh, the regular usage while gaming as well but in the end the Snapdragon 710 is the la latest one and it also does well with the gaming. Uh, it comes with the Adreno 616 GPU and it has a 2.2 GHz of clock speed and we tried to play games such as uh, PUBG Mobile and also the Fortnite game and both of them did quite well. So you can check out the gaming review anyway of the Realme 3 Pro to check out uh, how well it does. On the other side, the Realme 3 does not support Fortnite, it does support the PUBG Mobile and the medium graphics are done quite well but it does not support all the games. Uh, the graphic performance in the end for both the phones uh, did seem quite the same but uh, again uh, the support is better on the Realme 3 Pro with the latest and better chipset. Now with the variant that I offered here, the Realme 3 Pro comes with a minimum of 4GB of RAM and a maximum of 6GB of RAM. And the 4GB RAM variant comes with 64GB storage, the 6GB RAM variant comes with either 64GB uh, storage or 128GB storage. On the other side, the Realme 3 started with the 3GB of RAM option and it has 32GB storage and the other option was 4GB RAM and 64GB storage that we are reviewing here. So there's no 6 gb RAM op option for the Realme 3 and it started with 9000 rupees uh, but that's what the good thing about the Realme 3 is. With 9000 there are some users who would have lower budgets uh, lesser than 10,000 that is where Realme 3 would become the obvious choice when compared to Realme 3 Pro. Next with the camera combination that is offered here, there's a 16 megapixel plus 5 megapixel camera combination that is given here compared to the 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel uh, that was given on the Realme 3. 
and not just the camera megapixel count here or the sensor size here it's also the aperture size that is important the realme 3 had a 13 mp camera with the f 1.8 aperture and better than that is a 16 megapixel camera that comes with the f 1.7 aperture to take in more light during low light conditions and to take better pictures in low light conditions so that is one major difference and again it's the IMX519 sensors from Sony so it does quite a decent job. We'll be doing a separate camera review to let you know about how good the camera is but here we can easily say that the Realme 3 Pro will be much better than the Realme 3 when we talk about the camera quality. On the front uh, these are the selfie cameras on both of them. It's a 25 megapixel camera with the f2.0 aperture on the Realme 3 Pro while on the other side it's a f2.0 13 megapixel camera on the Realme 3. So there are differences in the resolution and that would obviously make the uh, pictures better with the higher resolution 25 megapixel camera on the Realme 3 Pro and 13 MP on the Realme 3 but uh, the actual uh, software is still the same it offers the same kind of beautification the changes that you can do on the face and uh, there are quite a lot of those things that can be done here if you check out this option you see that there are optioning for options for snow smoothing and thinning the face uh, make the chin smaller everything can be changed here from the Realme 3 Pro's uh, camera interface now let's check out the same on the Realme 3 here and you have almost the same options here as well on the Realme 3. So there is no difference that way with the actual camera interface it's the same but with the camera quality I'm sure that the Realme 3 Pro would do much better than the Realme 3. Uh, and next let's move on to the uh, battery life. The Realme 3 Pro comes with a 4045mAh battery and compared to that the Realme 3 comes with a 4230mAh battery. There is some difference here, not a lot of difference but the major difference here is with the charging that they get. The Realme 3 Pro comes with a 20 watt charger that's a VOOC charger with 5V4A support and here the Realme 3 comes with a 5V2A 10 watt support and uh, clearly the fast charging would be better on this. The lesser capacity would make it even faster for charging the Realme 3 Pro but again it's not a lot of difference with the battery uh, capacity here about 200 mAh of uh, battery capacity difference but we haven't tested out the phone a lot so I can't say whether it's going to have a lesser battery life than the Realme 3 because the Snapdragon 710 is also known to offer a good battery optimization and a better battery life that way. So with the battery life uh, there is almost the same thing and with the next uh, is the security option where you have both the options that's fingerprint sensor as well as the face unlock so that is present on both the phones. And with the weight almost the same again the Realme 3 Pro comes with the 7, 172 gram of weight and the Realme 3 comes with 175 gram of weight. Not a lot of difference again uh, there is difference with the battery as well so that is the little difference here with the weight as well. So this was all about the quick comparison of the Realme 3 Pro and the Realme 3 smartphones. They look almost the same when you talk about uh, the design and also with the display but the display would be obviously sharper on the Realme 3 Pro. And you can easily see that the Realme 3 Pro is better on majority of the aspects and that is why it is priced higher as well. So this was a quick comparison of these two phones. If you still have any other questions about the phone, uh, do let me know and subscribe to this one and some more. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.